Hello everyone, Gabriel here, and today we are going to learn how to do grid data export and OCR triggers. So let's create a new batch up here and a new job for that batch. Let's call it triggers and grid data job. Okay, so we just hit next. We don't need the IntelliTag, we don't want it for this tutorial. So let's unselect it and click next. Uh, the common use scenario for those would be multi-image documents because sometimes we are going to use invoices and sometimes the invoices have more than one page. So we are going to use that, although of our, our two files for today, they don't have more than one page. So we just multi-image documents and split manually. Uh, we will be doing a tutorial on multi-image uh, files very soon. So we select the invoice fields. We are going to use invoice uh, invoice files. So and we make sure the line capture is selected. And let's click next. We want to output to our disk on a PDF file, but we can edit that later. And let's make sure we have all that settings we need right here. Everything is right. So let's click finish. So let's create our first batch, grid and trigger batch one. There we go, create batch. Now we are ready to import our files. I will just drag them from the Windows Explorer. We will make sure that it extracts text from PDF is selected. And since we have more than one file, let's apply it to next file and hit OK. Usually you would just use the, the scanning functions of the program. Now that we have everything imported, we just double click on the first one for, to start getting the data right. We can zoom in using this button. And let's see, we have here supplier field. We don't need that supplier field, so we just highlight it and then click remove that red button up here and we don't need the order number so we just click it and then click the remove button here and click yes there we go now let's look for the data we need invoice number that's the invoice number so we can zoom in a little bit make sure that's highlighted and then create the zone dragging the mouse when we release it there we go we have the number and it's correct now invoice date we have the date down here so we just make sure we create the zone here and then release. There we go. We have the date right here too. Now the net total. Let's go down there and you can hold your right button, right mouse button to drag around like this. Let's see. The net total is here. So let's just make an area or you can also hold control and when you have what you want highlighted like this you just need to you just need to hover your mouse over you don't have to hold control and when you have what you need highlighted you hold control and then click and you see the zone will be created automatically let's try this again the text total we click here the on the field we need we make sure that text total that's the text total you can see here we make sure it is highlighted correctly and then we hold control and then click and there we go another area and the invoice total let's do the same thing so it is highlighted we hold control and then click and there we go we have what we need the first thing you're going to notice is when you go to the next document you're going to see all those fields are on the wrong places those ones are on the right places because they don't move from one document to another, but those ones will be always moving depending on the amount of information you have on that section of the invoice. So let's go back to the previous document using those buttons right here. And let's create our triggers and anchor those fields to that trigger. Usually we just, we just want to use uh, something that's it, that is in all of the documents so we will use that text here and in order to create it we just need to select the field here 
so you have to do it for each field you select it here the field then you come down here and you see that anchor symbol here icon here you hold your mouse button your left mouse button and then you can drag and anchor it to wherever you like but you're going to use that phrase here you can use only one word like this or the other word like this but we want both words because that's that's how we will get an accurate anchor so just release the mouse button and that that window will appear we need to make sure the search area is not near a word oh no that's that's not correct we need to make sure the show on page that's correct we, we just need to make sure the show on page is not the first is the last because when you have multi-image documents that kind of net total and invoice total and text total will only show up on the last page so you make sure that's last that won't make much of a difference on our files today but it will certainly do on other kinds of files so we need to anchor those two fields here also so we just highlight them up here we click the anchor and we can either anchor it to that text again or just anchor it to the same anchor as that one so you can see copy field anchors on the mouse so just release the button and you can see the anchor that green line here has been created for you and now let's do the other one the net total you can just you get your mouse over the anchor button and hold your left button you can either go here or then or use the same fields let's just use the same fields that's easier to do because you copy all the properties of that anchor when you create an anchor, you see down here you have a new field, a new a tab called triggers. And you also will have a new area here. If you click it, you will see the area, the search area here. And if you go to the next document, you see that search area is not working properly. So we have to change it. We want it to be here on that text. So we go back to the previous document. We click here and let's change it let's make it another area and to do that we just have to select it either we can go to the right click it advanced properties and we can change the search area here on the properties tab you can change it to full page you can change it to full page column you can see the different areas but you're going to use actually the selected area in the selected area you can see now our mouse has the new OCR trigger we are going to use a small column here so that way the program knows where to look and won't look on the whole document for that that trigger so just release the mouse no that's that's not supposed to be like this uh, that's supposed to be like this let's just release it no that's wrong what's going wrong here let's go to the ocr zone okay we have the ocr triggers and it seems that we lost our our settings so let's go to the advanced properties let's change it to full page column here full page column here and then let's create our area let's highlight that one because that one's the one we want to change and when you see those blue lines here you come down here and then create the new area where you want to look for that text this way you're not scanning the whole document for it when we release you can see now we successfully changed that area so you have to highlight it so you have to make sure that's highlighted and then you can change it just dragging on any other part of the screen now if you move to the next document you can see now the data is on the correct place you can see here the errors but if you select here the process document and then hit ok you will see that all the data has been collected correctly 
So now we need to worry about the grid, all those that information you need here. In order to create that grid, you need to open your modules panel down here. In order to get that, you need to go to the panels button up here and then view modules data panel. It will show up down here. So let's go click on the button here and then view data modules panel. And in order to create a new one for that grid, we have to click on edit grid. You will see we, we will have new capture grid. So we just go to the point where we want to start and drag our mouse all over it and then release the mouse button. And we can see the first thing we notice is we have an extra column here. What do we want to do? It's very easy to edit that. We just right click it on this area. We, we can move it to just get your mouse right here and then hold and drag. But we just want to remove it. We right click it and then delete comp column. Now we have everything we need. That's the details line and that should be the total line. So we just come here, make sure that area is highlighted, right click it and then down here, assign to field line total. So we have the line total here and the details line here. We are almost ready to go. You can see down here, we have many details about that line. We don't need all that details. If we click read here, you can see we get many errors. We only have the line total and the details line. So we are going to leave only those two and delete those ones. In order to delete those ones, you have to click on here and hit, uh, it's not delete grid, um, how do you delete those? Uh, delete row, no, we just deleted everything, no, yeah, we just deleted everything. We have to come to the options, there we go, we have to come. In order to delete those lines, you have to come here to the options button, and then here you have all the lines you have there and to delete the ones we don't we, we don't need we will leave page line total and details line because that's all we have here let's click on balance and then click on the that button here it will remove that that detail that that information from the from the grid and nominal code let's just highlight it and then click on the remove button there we go now we have all the information we need. The page is automatically read and if you read the document, you can see that all the information you have here. Now we will have the same problem here. You can see the grid follows the same size here. And in order to change that, let's go back to the previous document. You can go to the next with this button here. You come to the previous document. You have that pencil button here. You just get your mouse here, click it, it will show those two options. You come here on the grid menu, left click it, and then on the lower position relative to trigger, you don't want the table lower limit, you want the lower position. And then instead of background, you're going to use the previous trigger. So now you can see you have a trigger going to that anchor right here. So when you move to the next page, you can see the table change its size. And if you read it, you can see we have all the information here su successfully. Now that we have everything you need, it's time to export it. So let's just go back to the scan input tab here. Let's highlight our, our batch here. And that's, let's hit on the export batch button. We, we have here the PDF we set up earlier on the job wizard, but we want to add another one. Let's just click that plus button here. Let's go to the TXT. We want to open all that data on, the, on, on Excel and we want to export it to our file system. So you select TXT and then file system and click add. 
now you can you have the option to have one one txt file per document one page one txt file per page and one txt per batch we, we just let's just use the one txt per batch so we will see all our documents on the same batch and everything we just leave how it is let's just make sure uh, before clicking OK we come down here and on the grid control module you have to make sure you have the export X grid data in true this way uh, the program will export all the grid data we just captured earlier and we want to make sure after hitting OK on that window we have to make sure you have the extension here not on page extension you erase that and get only CSV this way you can open it directly on Excel without without having to, to import it into Excel so let's just see if we have everything all right we click on that button here so we have the CSV and we have the export table X grid data so let's just click export now we wait for a little bit and then that that window open we can see we have both PDFs here they will look exactly like the ones we imported into the program let's look to what really is interesting here we, we have all the documents here let's open this you will see since it is it is a CSV file we can see it here it will open natively on Excel and you can see here the invoices numbers the types you can see it's all the same type and all the data you need it's all here so I hope you guys enjoyed it and we'll see you on the next tutorial Bye-bye.